Hey guys, it's Emma here, and in today's video, we are going to be going through from Lower Hayford to Thrupp. Uh, it rains, and we get stuck in some locks, um, but let's go! So this video is going to be in remembrance for one of my subscribers, uh, John. Um, he recently passed away and he used to give me a lot of support and encouragement with my YouTube. Uh, so I just want to take a moment uh, to sort of remember him. So we went from Lower Hayford to Thrupp um, and here's the map of our journey. which is really disappointing um hopefully we'll only need to go through like one or two locks and then we can sort of stop um and hopefully it won't rain too much just because we do have the uh jackery solar out and it probably isn't good to get too much rain on it um but yeah So this is Dashwood Lock, um, the CRT have been actually doing some work on it recently and we actually got stuck in it. Uh, the gate wouldn't go all the way in so the boat wouldn't move. Um, I didn't get to film a lot because there were people helping us so I thought you know I'd help too. Uh, we managed to finally get the boat out in the end um, but it definitely was, t it definitely took quite a while to get out. <laughs> Hey, so we're about to go cruising um, and it is being very rainy, uh, more rainy than we thought it'd be. Uh, we're still probably going to have to go through about two locks today um, and a day boat just sort of went past and we feel very sorry for them because it is pouring down. It is also quite windy and I think it'll get windier sort of later on, um, but yeah. Sadly, we're not going to be filming the next sort of the two locks. We didn't film the lock uh, back there. Um, I'm not going to be filming the lock sort of ahead uh, just because it is very rainy and I do not want to get my phone wet. Uh, but luckily, obviously, we're going to be turning back. So I'll be filming all of these sort of once we uh, turn around. Um, but yeah. This is Pigeon Lock, um, we actually got stuck in this one as well and again I didn't film because people were helping us. Um, we managed to get out of this lock a little bit quicker uh, since we also knew what to sort of do and the tactics I guess uh, to sort of get out the lock. Um, but while we were here we moored up and we actually took a walk. Um, if you watch my last video you can see some photos I've taken. We were even moored uh, across from a golf course uh, which was kind of cool to see uh, people golf, I haven't really seen that. Uh, much um, but it was actually really nice here and we stayed here for a few days 
And a couple of the photos that were in my last video and in this video as well are in my calendar that I recently uh, sort of launched. Um, it's linked in the description. It's, it's going to be one of the first links. Um, and yeah. So that paddle there, it does not work. For some reason, it just um, is not catching on the paddle, so it's not coming up. Luckily, the lock uh, empties pretty quickly, uh, so we can have done pretty quickly. So this is another riv river section uh, for the canal. So the Oxford Canal was one of the first canals ever built. So they used uh, the river in some parts uh, to keep costs down. So now we're in Thrup. Uh, Thrup is a very popular place to moor. Uh, they have great services here. They have bins. They even have a little charity sort of book section. They have Pump Out and Elson, uh, Water Points. Uh, so we stayed here for a few days uh, and just topped up on that stuff. 
So we actually needed a service down on our boat while we we're here. So uh, Throp Canal Cruising Club were nice enough to give us one of their overnight moorings. Uh, and we stayed there and got our service done. You should definitely visit Thrap if you can. It's one of my favourite places that I think I've been. Uh, they have a tea shop. They sell ice cream, uh, which is, you know, important. Uh, they have a canoe club. And it's also just really pretty there. They also have a lift bridge, which is automatic. And if there's a swing, a swing bridge or a lift bridge that's automatic, it's also just amazing. Uh, it's less work for me. <laughs> so there's lots to see and do. So I just want to say a big thank you to my two new patrons. I want to say a big thank you to Bram and Maurice. I want to say a big thank you to them for donating to my Patreon. It means the world to me and I'm really glad you're enjoying my videos. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I do a video. And comment to my social medias, my Patreon and my Gmail, thenabrogirl at gmail.com if you have any suggestions for me. And your stupid can have her stress if you like some new letters. Um, but yeah, see you later. Bye.